Good morning. Hi, everybody. Hope you're doing okay. Let me give you an update on my one of my grandcats, Bullet, I put on Instagram. He's quite the whippersnapper. He can open the door and close the door to get out of the bedroom. So while my daughter's family is sitting in the living room, all of a sudden they hear the door banging, 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 and then he comes popping out. <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> the other day he ate a flower I think it was a lily it was... and he got very sick they ran him to the doctors the vet and they had him on IV and here's his little picture I'm happy to say that he's doing great he's back to his old tricks now also my granddaughter made appointments for my mother and I and my granddaughter to get vaccinated and so we have gotten our two shots by Pfizer and we're doing great. Kind of weird sitting and talking to people that are vaccinated too and having no mask on. Uh, it's just, you know, you get used to being stand back, stand offish. It's weird to come back from that, but I can't wait till we all can. Now, I want to tell you something very funny about pets. This one goes down on the books. This is incredible. Now, PETA is saying people for the ethical treatment of animals, which I totally am behind, they say that the use of the word pet, P-E-T, P-E-T, is patronizing to animals and may lead to animal abuse. They are telling us that this offensive word should be struck from our language and replaced with the term companion animal. Oh my gosh. So I texted that to my kids and I told them uh, jokingly that gra grandma is too gender specific and uh, they want to change that too. That's the news. <laughs> All right. I got the marshmallow sponge from NYX. <laughs> I love, love it. Okay, it came in this little box. And here it is. Very super duper soft, squishy. It's wet now because I put my makeup on with it. The first day I put on my uh, serum, I put on my moisturizer and, and sunscreen, and then I put on my foundation like that. And then I put on, I moved the um, foundation up to be a concealer and I went like that. It was great. I think I love that it's that it's got the flat spot there on both sides. I really like that. You could use one for bronzer and one for uh, foundation. I really liked it. I'm going to I'm going to do a whole video using it and, and I'm going to use a regular marshmallow too. I told you about this is the marshmallow. I think it would do the same job. Okay, so I like it. I like the sponge. The uh, primer's on its way here today from Amazon, but um, I did get the sponge already, and I do love it. I love it better than the Beauty Blender. I don't like the point, I don't like the teardrop shape of the Beauty Blender at all. I like a flat shaved part. The other video that you saw, my gray roots were all over the place, that's why I had the hood on, but you could still see. You know, I look like 10 years older when I have gray roots. And I realized that after I did my roots that I would rather be with no makeup and my hair dyed than with roots and makeup. I would rather be with my hair dyed above anything. I mean, just gray hair is fine, but roots, gray roots, no good. I feel very, very sloppy, sloppy. That's what I feel. So the minute I dyed my hair, oh, I felt, uh, I felt normal. So that's my thought on gray roots and no makeup. Oh, gray roots and no makeup is horrible. <laughs> horrible. The other day I did a FaceTime with my daughter and I, I didn't straighten my hair. So it was like a wild and it was gray and it was, it was no makeup. That is the worst look. That's the worst look. That looks like I, I just got arrested. <laughs> I got these things to show you. It comes in this little 
plastic case. <laughs> they're only like a dollar something. You get four of them in this pack, and they're nice, soft silicone. And you put them one in each, and in each nostril. You push it all the way in, and you can breathe so wonderful. If you're having a hard time breathing, or you have a snorer in the house, try these. Excellent. And I, I think the color is so pretty, the blue. Oh, if I, if I can find the clip, I'm going to show you how special this bottle of wine is. In this segment, I'm going to call How to Keep My Friends Hip. Okay, this way you can talk to your grandkids or the uh, younger generation and they can think that you're hip. So, you tell them that Snoop Doggy Dog, Snoop Dog Dog, <laughs> Snoop Doggy Dog, has a wine company. It's called 19 Crimes. And that is Snoop Dogg. Now, there's something special about this bottle. You have to download the No Labels app. I think that's the name of the labels. If not, I'll put it right here. And then it says scan. And then you, yeah, you put your phone up against the bottle. And this is what happens. I believed in myself when the world tried to train a dog not to. Gotta thank myself for that. I already did. But I'm gonna do it again. You can tell them that you know about Snoop Doggy Dog's new wine bottle. Let's just talk about Retin-A for a moment. I want to do a whole video on it to explain to you what it is, what it does, how it helps you, if, in case you're on the fence. But in the meantime, I want to tell you that it has not helped my neck at all. It has helped my jowls and my the eyes from sagging and the jowls from getting worse, but I can't get the neck right. Now, I have this product, and this is called Sermage Lifting Stick, and I have a video on that, and I'm going to do another video on it, and we're going to test this out again and see if I can get my neck to look better. So far, I don't know. Neck creams, derma rolling, retin-A, tretinoin, glycolic acid, nothing that works for everything else is working on my neck. So, I'm open for discussion. So, if you haven't subscribed, just hit the red banner and the little bell. Leave a comment. So, know that I read them at least two or three times. The first time I give it a heart, the second time I give it a thumbs up, and then when I'm feeling low, I just come back to my comments because it makes me feel good. And 